following Jenny Minto to be followed by Murdo Fraser. Again, four minutes. Ms. Minto. Thank you, Presiding Officer, and a very happy St Andrew's Day to everyone. And thank you to Jim Fairley for bringing this debate to the Chamber. I know how personal this campaign is to him, and his well-cultivated speech, not to mention his lamb, pays testament to that. Today we celebrate Scotland's patron saint, and what a better way to celebrate him than with one of Scotland's tastiest red meats, lamb. I agree with Rachel Hamilton, there is nothing better than roast lamb with garlic and rosemary. I want to congratulate Quality Meat Scotland for their decade-long project, Scotland lamb, Scotland's Lamb for St Andrew's Day. Last year, Chef Tony Singh supported the campaign by creating a Scottish lamb curry infused with tomato cask strength malt whisky. The dish, which is a combination of two of Scotland's finest ingredients with an Indian-inspired twist. Though living on Isla, I would suggest a Kilhoman malt whisky from Isla's farm distillery. As Colin Smith and Emma Harper have said, there's a lot of creativity happening in a lot of our schools, with pupils serving Scotch lamb street cafe style to others using it as part of their home economics class. And Perthshire Scouts are using their campfire skills serving up Scotch lamb. What fantastic ways to introduce culinary skills, an understanding of where our food comes from and a bit of history to our kids. Now, I grew up in St Andrews and grew up being told how St Andrews came to be. According to legend, St Rule was instructed by an angel to take as many of St Andrews' bones from Greece as he could to the far western ends of the earth in order to protect them from the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. Rule and his followers set sail for the west, eventually finding themselves off Scotland, where they were shipwrecked in 347. The story goes that Rule was welcomed by the Pictish king and established a church in what is now St Andrews, dedicated to St Andrew and housing his relics. As Jim Fairley has said, St Andrew is not only the patron saint of Scotland, but of several countries, including Barbados, Romania and Ukraine, and cities in Italy, Portugal, Malta, the Philippines and in Greece. So I propose that on St Andrew's Day, we celebrate our patron saint with our home-produced lamb and Scotland's spirit of internationalism with dishes from around the world connected to St Andrew. Here are a few to tempt your taste buds. Now, I am starving, so my stomach will probably start rumbling here. <laughs> Traditional Romanian lamb stufat, marinated in fetisca wine. Hearty lamb dushanina, an age-old national Ukrainian dish. Lamb klifko, a rustic traditional Greek recipe. Or the Portuguese lamb skew, chanfan de barrego, with piri piri, giving it a slight spicy kick. Now, today's Guardian podcast, Barbados Becomes a Republic and Britain Faces a Reckoning, is a powerful listen. It traces Barbados's journey through colonialism, slavery, liberation, emancipation, to independence 55 years ago on the 30th of November, and today, as Jim has said, becomes a republic. No doubt, Barbadian bajan lamb stew will be part of the celebrations in many Barbados homes. I'm on my final, but off Emma you go. Um, Jenny Minto has just described loads of recipes that have got lamb in them. I'm just wondering if she would agree that the nutritional benefits of lamb are also evident that it's high in protein and a three ounce serving has 25 grams of protein. So it's really benefit, beneficial for your health as well. Jenny Minto. I thank Emma Harper for that uh, intervention. And yes, I do agree. Um, as I said earlier, lamb is actually one of my favourite dishes. And we don't actually have turkey on Christmas Day at home. We have lamb. So there you go. So, presiding officer, let's make Scotch lamb one of the celebratory... No, I knew I was going to get that wrong. Celly... No, I can't even say it. Celebratory... Celebratory, celebratory dishes of the Scottish calendar. Let's support our farmers, crofters and butchers and cook lamb for St Andrew's Day and then celebrate the tradition of Scottish thriftiness with heartwarming stovies made from the leftovers on December the 1st. Thank you. Thank you, Ms Minto. Congratulations on your perseverance.